Welcome back to our Chutes and Ladders project. In this video we're going to create a board and the pieces that go on the board and we're just going to use colored circles um, for our characters. So we'll need to add color now to the player characteristics first. So we'll go back to player and go to the top and we need to add a variable for color. So we say private color color and in order to use the color library we'll have to import it so we'll say import java dot awt dot asterisk and then in our constructor we'll instantiate the color so we'll say this dot color equals color And then we'll need getters and setters for color. So we'll say public color get color and return color and public void set color color C color is equal to C. Okay, so now we've let's go ahead and save for that file, compile and make sure we have any typos, and we're good to go. All right, so let's make um, a board. So we're going to new. We're going to say public class board. And this board is going to go inside of a J panel, which we learned about in our previous video on our traffic light. So we'll extend J panel and again we'll need some fields, constructors, assessors, mutators. Alright, so in, in, in able to use um, graphics we'll need to import some libraries. So we'll go to the top and say import javax.swing.jpanel and we'll import um, java.awt.asterisk And we'll have to import a couple of other libraries as we go, but let's now go down to our fields. And we need a, a pointer to the game. So we'll say private game game. And we'll be creating this class next in our main method. Uh, and then we need to do our constructor. So we'll do public board and we're going to pass in a game instance of a game so we need to set the size of the board so we'll say set preferred size and then we'll make a new instance of the class dimension and we want it if you use the graphic if you use this image as your background image then it should follow these dimensions. So we're going to say um, that we want the board 268 by 268, which is a little bit bigger than um, our image, which ends up in 245. And then we say this dot game is equal to game because we need to instantiate in the instance of the game. All right, so then in graphics, remember we use a method called a um, paint component. So we're going to say public void paint component. This is the method in JPanel that actually um, draws everything on the board. So we're going to say pass an instance of graphics. And we'll just create a G for graphics. 
And then since we're looking up in J panel, we need to use super so that we can go up and from J panel and go into paint component. And if you're interested, you can find a hierarchy online of all the Java graphic libraries. So what we want to do first is get that image. And we need to do a try catch statement in case that the image file is not there. So it, what a try, do, try catch does is it, um, it's an error message. And so it tries something. A, a statement of code, and then if it can't find what you're trying to do, it um, throws an error so that um, it doesn't freeze up your program. So we are going to um, create an instance of buffered image. And to do this, I'll have to go to the top and import java.awt.image.bufferedImage. image. And then we'll also have to import javax.image.io.image.io and import java.io.asterisk. Now, you would think that when you do the dot asterisk, that would include everything. But you can see here, sometimes we need to actually import a specific library. So um, that reduces the time it takes the computer to go through and look for the materials that you need in the larger library. OK, so we can go, now that we have all of our import statements, we can go down here to our paint component again, create an instance of buffered image, and we're, we'll make a variable and call it background. And since it's an image, we'll originally set it to be null, since it's an object. And then we'll do our try catch statement. A try catch statement is try with a parentheses, and then a close parentheses. And then you have a catch statement. And it's going to be an IO exception if it can't find our file, our image file. So in our try statement then, we want, what do we want to try? Well, we want to set the background to our background GIF. So we say background is equal to image io.read and then we create an instance of new file. That's why we needed to import um, IO and image IO. So we say new file, and then we're going to pass in the file name. So you, you have to make sure that the file name is exactly the name that we have. So we want to go into. To go to the internet and go to Google, and we can say shoots and ladders image, and we'll just click on images and we'll find the background one. Here it is. We'll go ahead and download it. So, save image as, and you're going to save it. in your computer where you have you've been saving your Java files and mine have been in this folder lots of projects here And it says basic board PNG, so we'll save. 
Okay, so now once we've done that, we can say basic board dot um, what was it PNG? Uh, it's PNG. So what we really need to do is get a GIF. Um, so you'll need to convert your PNG file to a GIF file and then you want to name it. So I'm going to say I'm going to name it background. So we're going to use background.gif. Okay, so that's what it's going to do, we want it to do, and then if it doesn't do that, we want it to do something else, and we'll just have it draw a blank background, so we'll say, um, otherwise we're just going to say g.drawImage background, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, null. And then we want it to draw our circles of our players. So we're going to say for player, player in game dot get players. We're going to use the getter method. And again, here we're getting a lot of curly braces, so I'm going to say end of loop, end of catch. Inside of our for loop, then we're going to, um, G is coming from here, our instance of graphics. And so we're going to say G dot set color player dot get color and G dot fill oval player dot get position dot get x because you want the x position and that's the getter is in the x class I mean the getter for the x is in the position class and it's going to um, count the number of pixels we need for each square and then we want uh, for the y we want player dot get position dot get y And then we want the diameter to be 26. So we'll do that. And then this is what's going to draw. And I'll do that for each player. Okay, that's the end. Let me compile. And we're probably going to have a couple errors because we still don't have game in here. But we can, um, yep, yeah, so we have an instance of game. And let's just check if all of our errors are related to game. So that's related to game. That's related to game not being there. I cannot find simple paint component. That's one that we'll need to look at. It looks like uh, I need to capital capitalize the C. 
So let me go down to paint component. It is capitalized there. What line is it in? Ah, it's here. That's little c. Needs to be capitalized. Okay, we still have three errors and they're related to board, board, and location. Now this error is interesting. Can I find symbol method awt image buffered image intent? I will have to investigate that. Um, for now, let's just save and I will investigate that between the after the next video.